Hey everybody, it's Kim from My Scrap. Today I'm gonna do kind of a little tutorial, so kind of, kind of not. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I had a request from a lady, and I don't know how you pronounce this, so I just wrote it down as C O L L B N, Call B N. But um, she asked uh, if I could do a tutorial on how to alter a tin. And um, I'm subscribed to hers as well because she's that she does great polymer clay stuff. So um, I'll always watch her polymer clay videos. But anyway, she wanted to know how to alter a tin. I've only done one tin before, but I knew I'd had another project coming up using a tin. So as I altered the second tin, I play, paid more um, close attention to what I was doing, <laughs> and. This is the tin that I altered. So this is a standard um, Altoid tin, you know, regular size. And as I cut everything, I wrote down the measurements so I could share them with everyone. And what this is going to be is like a little keepsake um, for my cousin who lost his dad last year. And his dad was in the army and they had a memorial, I guess you call it memorial service. Um, at Fort Benning for them, so I'm going to make, um, put a little mini in here, and um, that's going to be the for the photos of the memorial service for his dad. So that's why it's all green and army and not flowery and pretty and glittery and stuff. But anyway, go ahead and give you the measurements, um, and I'll put these in the description as well. But the top of the tin outside measures two and a half by three and three fourths the top of the tin inside which is this green piece here was two and a fourth by three and a half the top of the tin I mean the bottom of the tin outside which is this piece was two fourths by three and five eighths the bottom of the tin inside was two eighths by three and a half and then the strip for the outside here was a half by 11 and 3 fourths. Now before you go any further, this is like a base set of measurements. On some of these, this was the closest measurement I could get. I did have to shave a little off here and there. When I, like for instance, um, when I cut the top, I cut it at two and a half by three and three fourths. Then I had to shave a little bit more off. You know, just a hair, not even a sixteenth to get it to lay right because of the um, the embossing of the Altoids which you can probably see through the paper but um, see like right there and everything so it when you measure it with a ruler you get a me you know whatever measurement you get you you can't take an account for those little humps so <coughs> excuse me so these are like a base measurement I would cut paper to this size first and then at, before you adhere the pieces, you know, lay them down, make sure they fit good, shave a little here, a little there where you need to. Also, when I first laid down the pieces, I used the quarter rounder to round the corners. But that is a different degree than what's on the actual tin. So once I cut my paper to this size, I laid it and kind of just pressed the corners down to give myself a mark and then use scissors to make those rounded corners to get the right angles and stuff so I hope that makes sense I did the same thing here once I cut the paper I just pressed it down in there and using my fingernail pressed it into the corners and then brought it back out and saw where that line was and used my scissors to cut those rounded edges then um, all every piece of paper has been inked on the edges with vintage photo and then the way I adhered it was to use um, gel medium. So I just took a paintbrush, put some gel medium over the whole surface, pressed the paper down, and let it sit and dry. Um, gel medium dries pretty fast. So, you know, it was I, I worked on this project over the course of like mm, three hours, I guess. And, um, you know, letting the pieces dry as I went. So it all um, got finished in one night and that's including this this is the mini that's going to go inside 
this um, these shapes I cut to two and an eighth to three and three eighths and on these I did use my corner rounder and then I um, set eyelets in each one and this is going to be I think I said already this is going to be the minute it goes inside and I made it like this to imitate dog tags but right now this little string is um, just holding them together this is temporary fix I'm going to get some ball chain like real ta dog tags are on to bind it and then put it in the mini and what I'm doing is inking all these edges with um, just some tuxedo black ink and then what else do I need to tell you guys oh the stickers the US Army and the Jeep all came from a can company and I'll show you right quick this is what the sticker set looks like so when I get the ball chain on here um, I'll probably add some more uh, or like use this army sticker to go on the front dog tag or something and um, maybe use one or two more but um, if you do that just remember the thickness you know you have to allow for the thickness and you can see how on this side the eyelets keep it at a thicker level so that's about as thick as you can get with the eyelets but on this side it'll go all the way down so I'm thinking I could put some dimensional stickers if I stick to this side of the pages and um, to build that up a little bit and it will fill the tin so I hope that is uh, somewhat self-explanatory oh and I forgot for the uh, trim around I used hot glue to glue that down but um if this was as confusing as I think it was <laughs> feel free to ask me questions I don't mind and there's all the measurements and like I said I'll try to remember to put them in the description but um thanks for watching and uh, leave me some comments or click the like button or uh, don't click the dislike button though. No, that would hurt my feelings. No, I'm just playing. But um, I'll see y'all on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.